Vice President Harris tonight arriving in Georgia, a state the Democrats feared was becoming out of reach, but now with a new likely nominee, hope to win again. Earlier asked whether she'd picked a running mate. Harris at the rally tonight challenging Mr. Trump to agree to a debate. I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. Meanwhile, Trump running mate J.D. Vance is set to visit the border Thursday to attack the Biden-Harris administration as weak on illegal immigration. After bringing them all here, they proposed amnesty for millions of illegal aliens. She might as well have invited them personally to break our laws and come into our country. America's it's also the focus of this new Trump ad. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. Former President Trump overnight defending Vance's controversial comments from 2021, critical of Democratic leaders who are, quote, childless cat ladies, referencing Vance's rise from poverty. He grew up in a very interesting family situation, and he feels family is good. And I don't think there's anything wrong in saying that. While tonight, the director of a conservative group's Project 2025 vision calling for an overhaul of the federal government has stepped down. The group faced escalating Democratic attacks and comes after Trump sharply criticized Project 2025 that's run by a number of his allies. The Trump campaign saying reports of Project 2025's demise would be greatly welcomed. Meanwhile, in the crucial Atlanta suburbs, Democrat Kim Loudermilk was anxious when President Biden dropped out of the race. I was worried that it was too close to the election and that, um, you know, it would be hard to get a, a campaign together. And so now, was, what do you think? And now I'm super excited about uh, Kamala. But Republican Ben Wilson blames both Biden and Harris for high prices. And everything from gas prices to, you know, it just eggs the cost of living. It's everything economy wise. And we'll learn Vice President Harris's running mate choice soon. Two sources familiar with the matter tell NBC News they will tour battleground states together beginning next week. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.